print, hand print, have a window. Screen was cut. Can we find the knife? Use the linkage steel. Hair, fiber, DNA. From that, can we determine who, where, when, how, and what? Then we use adaptive logic to study the Medusa branda and mold and evidence, try to estimate the body, size, the tall, any personal identification can link to the suspect. From that, both then you can put your case together. So crime scene looks like simple. If you can apply logic, can apply linkage theory, can apply physical evidence, then you can solve the case. If you don't, you just pick up this, pick up that, you're never able to solve the case. Here, we put the chair back. I stand up on the chair. I try to reach the cup. I cannot reach it. What to say is those? I cannot reach it. The suspect who said that taller than me. Right? Okay. Who said that? Catch. You say that too? <laughs> the suspect is taller than me. Oops. I tell the chief detective, he stands at Coro. I say, Coro, you stand up. You see, American people get tall, they big, but they all chicken. They start sweating. His assistant, the lieutenant, want the captain to fall out so he can get the promotion. He is 6'2". He reached over. He's a smart man. He said, Jesus, how did we did not think of that? So simple. A soldier back then. Right away we know a suspect probably 5'9", 6", taller than me, shorter than him. This is a cranking window, the maximum opening, 11 inches. In other words, you only can open 11 inches. <coughs> so he cannot get in. He definitely cannot get in. So what our suspect? Tall and skinny. Suspect working there before. Knows the daughter. But knows it did not turn on the security alarm. So here we just do a big data search, ask the father, this everybody working there. Find anybody fit in that category. Then we'll compare the DNA. Then you can link the case. So use logic, we say this person, six feet tall, thing. For the entry, the ammo, you have to work in the family before, victim, location, target, police, have a suspect in custody. For a first day, they should just let him go. The captain, he had a heart attack. Now, later, the civil suit, $19 million. So, you can see how important a crime scene, how much the worse a crime scene. Uh, I just showed my report, three days later, he was arrested. Not because me, <coughs> public, public, his picture is on TV. They right away called the police. So he was arrested, very lucky, Elizabeth was born, still alive. She was rescued. She now graduated from college and married. Not too long ago, wrote a book. Talk about her or me. And sent me for helping me solve the case. Otherwise, she probably become a sex. 
She said that he said why? He does that because he sent the world near the end. And God gave him a mission to have six wives. Only his offspring can survive. The earth's going to destroy. It's crazy. So a lot of time you have to study the crimes, not just collect the evidence. Privacy documentation, basically five different things. Notes, sketch, video tape, audio tape, and uh, audio. So this really nothing to do over the year with open Oscar say how many performance and uh, it's all the experience. The more detail, the better. Measurement. Early days, we use the tape. Now, of course, we use them for the sensor. It's much easier. But still, the measurement, nothing really changes. You can do two-dimensional scan. You can do three-dimensional scratch. Whatever you want to do, it just takes longer. Now I have a lot of software you can do now. You can plug the data in the computer and it automatically sketch for you. Uh, they ask me, is that better? It won't solve the case for you. Okay, it's look nice. Solve the case, still need the privacy investigator. For example, this case, in Rome Island, a nightclub caught the fire. Two hundred some people died and injured. That's the worst history in U.S. fire history. Now, they can find us to help to determine the point of origin, where the fire is. This is the stage just like a bigger than that, a little bit bigger than this. In the fire scene, we usually look at a so-called triangle, a point where the lowest point usually indicates where the fire stops. Because the smoke and fire heat goes up. Goes up because the air, oxygen, so you have a B pattern, so called B pattern. The B pattern indicate here's the form of origin. I just spent two minutes here, look at that. I say that's more like the point of origin. Here looks like the, the electronic device, and probably it's an electric fire. Electric fire. This man billion dollars used the infrared of college professors and uh, three months they did this they think that's the point of origin so similar it's really not say the battery problem can give you better result not necessary with 3d Drone, we try to take care of the photo, it's fine, but not going to really help you that much either because very difficult for drone to do a close-up. Aerobill is fun. Once you get closer, closer, impossible to control. But most of the time homicide, you rather use human and uh, taking 90 degree direct angle on. For example, this crime scene. The problem when this case got to court, the lawyer dispute about this. Of course, they have a reason 
what's the pricing procedure, what's the scientific technique and procedure we use at the crime scene. So very important is to take a good picture. Those picture actually did not the PKs. It's overexposure or underexposure. You have the picture, but you cannot tell it much. Just say, oh, here maybe some blood there. Here, what are those? Nobody knows. For example, early days, when you can draw on the mesh, no, don't do that. Because you are really contaminating the mesh. Later, this piece especially can make evidence. You put the magic marker on it. You can start doing DNA. Can put mislead. So don't do those procedures. Unintentional mistake because the crime scene in a busy place or start pouring red. Nothing much you can do. You have to do as quick as you can, whatever you can. The next thing we're going to talk about crime scene search map. Alright? How you search the crime scene? The book says line search, strip search, grill search, arrow search. World search, zone search, link search. That's the seven map. Every book talk about that seven. My book said six, seven. But the reality, a couple of maps are useless. No one. Okay? Line search basically is an uncle. You cover a large world to do line search. How to do line search? Just log up, start searching. That's not really. The commanding officer is so important. You have to run the people. You put the most experienced people, forensic scientists, detected in the area you see going to have evidence. You put volunteer for those people on the side, to assist the search. Then, once you found the piece of evidence, the person who found it have to call everybody stop. This area can be other evidence. You people careless step on it, so you have to call them up to do special search. And don't put two police officers, two together. In the United States, the police love to talk. So when you put two persons together, they start talking. Nobody search, you just walk. And uh, so you have to spice them a little bit so they can search. Like uh, for example, this an airplane, mid-air explode in Florida. We have to go search all this debris. What important, what not important? Of course, we all want the human body is important. Or explosive, or black box. So when you search, because it's an elegant, have alligators. So you have to worry, protect your vengeance. Snake, an alligator. My search, for example here, I put the laboratory scientists in this lot. This area, when I look at the sea, are more likely to have potential evidence. You put the rest of a detective and other, then you have a second line lined up. When the first line finished, you have a second search. Many times, this line search if you do another one, you become a grill search. So, basically, basically just two lines on different directions. 
not become a grip. A 14 years old high school girl after school could go missing, disappeared. And uh, when we search, that's the area on the body. This is a year and a half later. It's all decomposed. So now, what the area you have to search? Basically, area you can buy our square. So that's the area near the body more important to search. Here, that's the skull. This morning, talk about age of the victim. We do that also at the scene. That's about a 14 years old teenager. Female. As you can see, her blue jean, but her bracelet is not in her wrist. So that gives you a clue. This case was solved by a couple of dog hair on the closing. So the trace evidence so important. We know suspect have a dog. From the hair, we know what kind of the dog. Then you do a data search, the surrounding neighborhood, who have a dog, this kind of dog, try to make a link it. So you basically grab her skull, go Onwards. That's called ray search. This car has a motor hole. So the hole is the center. Then you start from outside, looking into the center, so you don't miss anything. Spiral search is useless. According to the book, you start the Four or six scientists or detectives are here, then you'll make spiral. After five minutes, you'll feel dizzy. What to look for? Make a spiral. Really? Not. I said the only application is a spiral staircase. You use spiral mask. <coughs> well, you basically, from the middle, go side, zone search, you divide the primacy into the zone, including vehicle, you also divide it into zone. Link search, if you find a tire mark, you look for a tire. Bring a tire, you look for a car. If you find a shoe print, you look for a shoe. If you find a cigarette box, you look for somebody's smoke. <coughs> so those search, it's so important is to find the potential evidence, not just search, to look for potential evidence. It's important to have a good wife to take care of. How many people in the crash? That's always a question. It's difficult, okay? First, the best, what available method? How many people work there? Second, what the area of the search? The third, the purpose of the search? The fourth, how long you can search? Because many times they give you order, you can only search so long. If a highway, you cannot close forever. So, Where's the scene what to search? For example, this is a police car. A police female officer lost a leg. A drug trapper down. So one death potential the second death. Police get to the scene, see this high velocity blows back. You see that? Very common blue spider. So high velocity blue spider 
usually associated with sculpture. So they think this is a highway shooting. Middle of the night, they call me, I got there. If it's shooting, what else you should see? The bullet. Here it's just blood, no bullet. So that tells me that's not a shooting. She was hit. The truck driver was hit. She lost her leg, so her major artery, the blood spread out because the speed of the vehicle. So the blood transferred the energy to come back high velocity spatter, but nothing to do with gunshot. So when you investigate, you should look for it. Not you look for a car. The third, on the ground, we know she was parked. Her police vehicle was parked here. The impact moved this cruiser forward. Not give us information. The impact point may have pensions. We sure you not my pension. This is a brownish powder. <coughs> Run the paint, layer stretch, I can tell. We have a big database, the manufacturer, a year. We know this is an American made car, all model. We know this driver doesn't have much money. Probably no insurance, maybe a illegal element. So doesn't want to stop, <coughs> just continue going. However, the female officer went to the emergency room. The physician saved her life. The first thing, the investigator asked her what color of the car. She said, white man. So the whole United States looked for a white man. We found this a brownish color, three layer pension, outer layer, is brown, metallic brown. But she says a what? Who they going to believe? But I late afternoon two o'clock, since I'm the boss, I called a shop and said, stop looking for white man, look for a brown metallic car. The police officer said, Oh, you should tell us earlier. This morning, the first thing I noticed is in the parking lot, have a brownish car, have some blood stain on that. Since, because everybody would say, vehicle is white. So, did not look at that car. So we quickly looked at the car, can you see the damage? And so let the evidence speak for itself. In Witness sometimes may care. She did not lie. But for the moment that impact, she probably sees something more. Later she recovered from the hospital. The first thing she came to the laboratory to thank me. I said, why? She said, you're the only one who doesn't believe me because you, this case, was solved. If everybody still believes it's a white color car, this case will never see. So that's why it's so important let the physical evidence speak for itself. This vehicle, I'm sure enough, a female driver, illegal immigrant, middle of the night, she worked to clean the office, she worked, finished, I saw the police officer. She got nervous, thought somebody going to arrest her. She hit her at the truck driver to go. Uh, so very important is the crimes. For example, this case, I went to Italy. A 11 years old daughter of this family, 
multiple spot scaffold built. They lived in a small apartment, the bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. That's the night. Every two years, I used to go to Verona Medical School for lecture. Verona Medical School at the White College. So every time I go there, they teach me how to look at the wine. But that year, they took me to Christ. They not drink wine. So they seek of the serial killer. I said, no, no, no. The serial killer don't try to kill a person with random stabbing. No, random stabbing is somebody got mad at something. You see, this is the night. You just look at the diameter and say, no, that's not the night. Uh, quickly, the case will solve. A mother uh, have a psychological problem and uh, somehow Mother did not listen to her with this tragedy. Many times at Ramsey, you get there, what you going to do? For example, this is a high explosive <coughs> fire, rocket view. Now, what you going to do? You going to go in there? Stupid, you, you can't. For example, here, the body in the water, no head, no arm. Can you see that? The head chop off, no, hand chop off. That already tells us something. Suspect doesn't want us to identify the big. Suspect no forensic people Look for teeth, look for face, look for fingerprint. So who is the suspect? Most likely police. Body put in a, this shallow water. What you going to do? How you search? The first step you get there, you contaminate. Any ideas? What to search? How to start? You just dig something lower, drain the water. Okay? Just here, you just dig on the side, make a little canal, let the water drain. So now you can start. All the evidence stay there. If you don't know, if you in charge, you have a you are not going to find the evidence. Explosion. What to look? For example, the body was found under the cliff. So they had to use a rope, lower me down. What got downstairs? Guess what that bomb? Should we pray first? We have to pray down. Now, is this pray? Huh? So let's yeah. Huh? No, you can continue. Finish? No, okay, you can finish. It Better you finish. How long to finish? How long to finish? Yeah, I can finish. Okay? Yeah, I can't finish quickly. Okay? Alright, let's finish. Yeah. So, when I get down here, one all snakes. So, what you going to do? I said, pull me up. Send a younger detective to go down. Catch the snake first. So, each scene is different. So, now today, given your computer, cell phone, given the material between the teeth for relative. But today, I check everybody, I can find rice, I can find chicken, I can find beef, because lunchtime, you eat those. Our observation, we have to look at that, 
each seat, for example, this front seat is pencil. Can you see that? You said he's a driver? So give me information. So you look, for example, here, what I'm trying to do is develop the fingerprint of her body. Here, all those are ankle body. So I know she is a homosexual person because location of the body tell us information. Why Bush cannot see it? Why? Can you see that? The monocular, the covered. Okay, get, get this time. I only want a picture. So, you have to learn, this is a Switzerland case. For example, a flow to Switzerland, it, on this case, it's so difficult. This is three drop of vertical low velocity blood dripping, which means she already on the front. Blood subsequently dripping on her. Last three drop is the one you do the again. The rest of the water and uh, case will solve. So important is to see and solve. Many times we talk to the bad bad people, that's the only six something. When I get there, I really know the soil on the blue jean is different than the sand. I know the primary seed is an organic rich soil surface. Hot the inside out, no water, that give you a motive. So everything is set to see, you have to read. For example, sometimes you serve, you want a drop. What's inside the drop? Body. A serial killer kill a lot of people. Uh, this odor is terrible. This is the one we found the movie from, the bomb. So, so much now a day is from the laboratory to the sea. We bring the technology experience of our policy scientists to the crime scene. Those are the mistakes people make. If the eye search the sea, there's so many mistakes. <coughs> And uh, I guess the computer doesn't move anymore, so we're going to end up here. Okay, Forget it. It's time to go home. You should not dust on even service with fingerprint power. The crazy people, they are not scientists. They don't know. For example, they spray, spray the enhancement reagent. The vertical surface don't ever use echo solution. Echo solution will to run out, growing your evidence. So it's better to learn and uh, not just take it. So, so many things we can talk about it. This is probably the best imprint evidence. This truck hit the police officer to call. I got to the scene under 160. Do you see a pattern? It's a pattern. Skin around case, usually they look for blood, air, fiber. As this case, no blood, no air, no fiber. It's just a pattern. And you can't even see. However, we use chemical enhancement with the one of this shoulder pattern become the world class imprint text. One piece of evidence to prove everything. For example, her body was found at the scene under the air condition. So what the first thing you see, how somebody pushed the body under the air condition. You have to pronounce contact. What's the area? More like the bottom. 
So that's the area you <coughs> try to break speaker. Not the whole body. The whole body, you really can't want me this. Maggots can be important, all those evidence. Many times, collecting from, for example, this is O.J. Simpson case. A lot of people ask, why jury for O.J. Simpson not guilty? That two drop of blood on the walk. What tells us? Two drop of blood. Do you see that one dry, one wet? That cannot be, some is cannot be that. Same day, same time, same temperature, same people, same blood. Two drops should be what? Set. These are both wet or both dry. Cannot be one dry, one wet. <coughs> that wet wet have a problem. Could be sub subsequently somebody planned the evidence. Later, sure enough, from um, EDTA in the drug. EDTA is a preservative, not in the human body. So DAA is no case But the source of the blood becomes possible. That's why jury one is not killed. All right, so so important, for example, this case, can you see on the garbage can on top of here? Have a pair of sandals. The police searched the crime scene for three days. They missed it. That becomes the most crucial piece of evidence later we solve the case. Okay, because the time is going to end up here, so any case they need the oriental to help to solve the case. That's why you guys go to the United States, but the coral testimony can be nasty, especially with this lawyer, so I have to stand in. That's the cartoon. Thank you very much for your time. Any questions, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the excellent presentation, Dr. Kenji. Hi, Dr. Rajesh Babu of Forensic Sciences University of India. Uh, it's not a question, uh, it's an addition of what has been mentioned. Uh, in the presentation, it was mentioned about the equipment as far as rights and management part is concerned. There was a mention about the communication systems and the equipment. Uh, there is a, a particular uh, instrument that is all kit has been introduced as a three dimensional printing scanner in which the entire scene can be recorded can arrow depending on other intention of time duration. It can be done within one hour or even two hours also. Then every three millimeter will be scanned. That is one thing. Next one, I will add a point about the communication system. There, there is a, 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 a specific technology which is being used after it, and the live uh, communication systems that is at the crime scene the particular investigating officer with the uh, particular uh, scientist can communicate to the police or any other items that is also available. This I wanted to add upon. Excellent question. Uh, the DVD I gave it to you, then I let it back. The DVD have all the resources, have a lot of new equipment, crime equipment. Made in India, China, USA, Europe, but the equipment will not, cannot replace the crime survey and reconstruction. It only can make our job easier. Document, measurement, give attached to a database, for example, a fingerprint, you capture, you can search. With a shoe print, you can capture, search. Higher truck. However, this interpretation reconstruction we try to do. We I try very hard artificial intelligence, but not too successful. 
because each pricing is slightly different. You need to, the people here, the senior people with knowledge, can share with the junior people when bring them up so they can have the knowledge. The crime scene is something just like a physician, a seasoned physician. Look at somebody, make a diagnostic. Today, of course, an x-ray, NMR, all kind of uh, new medical equipment doing the blood test. They still have to make it a diagnostic. Say, you just have a simple call. Just go home, have some tea, take a shower, rest, right? Charge you $500 for the visit. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any question, please? As principal of Ashland Medical College, and uh, then, uh, while I'm there, uh, I have, uh, today I was very, very impressed with your, what you were saying. The, the things that you were saying are really very, very interesting, and I think it was excellent. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. I have to give him a badge. Give us. Two of them each one batch. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Rita. 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 She doesn't speak. Yes, sir. Okay, each one has. Now I run out of batch. Don't ask me what you have. Okay. Okay. Sign up. This is Abdus Salam uh, from Bangladesh Police. Actually, in charge for crime scene investigation. I have a small team here. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your excellent and informative uh, presentation. We have started from crime scene uh, secure, documentation, collection, all areas we have completed. I'm sure that you will be benefited from your uh, this presentation. I have only a very small question. If there is a latent fingerprint on human body, latent fingerprint again, not other thing. How do we collect it and what is the success rate? In Excellent question. Don't listen to the instructor say very easy to pump fingerprint on human body. I tried probably over a thousand times looking for fingerprint on human body. I only found twice in a thousand times. That basically, if somebody's head, victim's head, or suspect's head, has grease, oily material, so you use side lighting first, try to look at the area. Then we use cyanoacrylate film, super glue film, the area. Then we fluorescence chemical, photograph, document. Okay, I can show you some just two cases successful. The rest of it, it's not. The body has to be more younger people, female, no hairs. The man like him. A lot of hairs. You can't find fingerprints. Okay, give him a match. <laughs> you have to put up. I'd like to talk about our procedure. In our country, it's usually a crime scene investigation is done by the police department. They do the inquest and provide the inquest report for before forensic autopsy. So as I have seen your biography that you did a uh, superman thing from starting to this point. So I'd like to ask you, how do the forensic expert can engage themselves in crimes and investigation for the amendment that needs to be done in your journey? Okay. Thank you, sir. It's very difficult because the United States have 50 states and 4,930 some police departments. 
each department is different. U.S. doesn't have a central uh, federal system, government. FBI, it's not a police agency. It's a investigative agency. So, with us, because in training, I'm a scientist. I've become a laboratory chief. Then I become the commission in charge. So obviously, I can make decisions. After I retire, now scientists don't go to currency anymore. Because scientists need experience. Like I still go to currency because they need me, not because I have a doctor degree, because the experience. So scientists would call, like I goes to see, I call many scientists, if I have a piece, like many times if I'm a single tooth, I call a forensic odontologist. Yes, I can look at the teeth myself, but I want somebody, an expert, can tell me. Like a maggot, I can look at a maggot, that's the first star, third star, but I need the entomologist to back me up. So that's why a lot of country call me, because they basically want me to help to look at the case. So a scientist, per se, you have to establish the area of expertise. Once you have an area of expertise, because the police department, they cannot employ that many scientists too expensive. Maybe in a year, only about one case involving tubes. So rather call a professor from some university to help out. That's what I would do, okay? All right. I'm Professor Hatikud Jaman Chaudhuri, Vice Principal Arakan Modern Medical College. I, I have been in touch with the forensic medicine for a long time in Bangladesh. Yes. So I'm, I'm very much glad to listen to your delivery. And uh, it's a very personal question to you. Okay. Both of you and your missus is uh, by born Chinese. Right. <laughs> what makes you do, uh, what interest you have been to, uh, to build your career in the United States? This is a personal question to you. Okay, thank you. It's kind of difficult as a minority in the United States. You have to prove you can challenge the impossible. You can do better. Like I'm the first non-Caucasian to become the police commission. The U.S. the police commissioner had to be 6'4", 280 pounds, smoke a big cigar. Every sentence use four F words. I'm a mutual commissioner. I'm a short one. Very difficult. Like I show a picture, whenever I go out, my security detail, all big officers, I look at the little store, so I check the state statute. No high limit, no sex limit, female can be a police officer too. So the next class, police class, I say, recruit some shorter one, some female. They're a good detective. Good police officer because the high they don't select that. Why? So I select some shorter one. When I go out, my security detail on short. So make me talk. So it's all relevant. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself. Uh, in US, one thing good. If you are better than them, they respect you. But don't think they don't want to attack you. They still want to attack you. So what? That's life. So many cases, you just testify the evidence, the fact. Don't even talk about politics so you can survive easy. Which the scientific fact, nobody can repeat. If you try to make up the science, then the eventual people are going to attack you. Excellent question. Give, uh, give him a match. Give him a match.
No more badge. <laughs> okay. Have one for the food. Okay, thank you very much. Come to U.S. to visit me. We have an institute at the University of Heaven with a lot of modern equipment, facility, and uh, also every two years in my hometown, I have a conference in China. Uh, my old body been there before. You can tell them the conference is very good, right? Yes. Yeah. They have been to this place, the big place. It's a wonderful place, and the organization of the congresses is excellently done. Not only that, he has built up a beautiful museum, I have a museum, 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 museum. and also stadium for children and school for children. And that is the promise which was given to him by his mother that you must do something for the place. Yeah. Like that. Not only that, he has been assigned to a very, very good human being. Let me tell you very frankly, I have known him for the last 25 years plus, and many times and every time it's the same. And he is, as I say, I keep on saying, a good forensic scientist can be identified by his smiling face. He's ever smiling. So that's another characteristic that he has. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was very nice. Thank you. Dr. Mujur, Dr. we'll give a moment to Thank you so much. I think Lee is a legend. And I think uh, Professor Pichit Tuwada has already mentioned something about him. And uh, I think you will be having another opportunity to listen to him just after the inaugural session. So I shall be requesting you and your other friends and colleagues so that you are there at about 11 o'clock after the inaugural session on 11. So, I think, thank you, Mr. Lee, you are wonderful. You are wonderful in presentation and you have the wonderful people in front of you. Yeah. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is a little moment of our love to Professor Lee. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much to Professor Lee and for his workshop on the art and ethics of the scientific writing.